What can Alabama not do? Besides make the college football playoffs this year. But that's besides the point. What's popping, everybody? Hope you're having a super blessed day. And the Alabama Crimson Tide are on the cusp of history. If Alabama just adds one to two more key recruits, they will have surpassed Texas A&M's 2022 recruiting class as having the greatest recruiting class of all time. And a lot of the dominance that Alabama has been doing in this class has started off by the seven five-star recruits that Alabama is bringing in this year so today we're going to be taking a look at all seven of alabama's five-star recruits that they're bringing in in the class of 2023 all my alabama crimson tide fans leave this video a like and hit that subscribe button we'll be covering you guys a ton you don't want to miss out on any of the alabama news we're going to keep you up to date over here at sharp sports and you guys are just going absolutely wild with this recruiting class be sure to comment down below after watching all the players who's your guys favorite five-star recruit because honestly you can't really go around picking any of them and enough of this intro let's get straight into it three two one starting it off alabama secured the third best running back in the class of 2023 in justice haynes this guy is an absolute workhorse he's also going to be paired with top tier four-star running back richard young he was a honestly you guys oh you guys actually had a few more five-star recruits it's just the recruits ended up slipping down to just being really high tier four-star guys but in all honesty alabama probably has close to 10 five-star guys in this class who were at one point five-star recruit but justice haynes is an absolute work horse uh, like bro look at this look at this vision right here first off immediately gets hit uh she had no break all that off look at the vision right here he sees just open grass but also he's got ops around him boom cuts out to, out, out to the outside cuts it right back upfield and is gone he is such a all-around dominant running back and he's been doing it since his freshman year he's been absolutely torching all of the absolutely just been torching high school football and you know it couldn't be a dominant alabama recruiting class if they didn't get themselves a top tier running back to add to that list and my guy justice haynes is the perfect running back for the alabama crimson tide backfield he's got home run potential easily breaks tackles this guy is him Next up, Alabama's latest five-star pickup is the second best cornerback in the country in Desmond Ricks. Desmond Ricks was actually the number one recruit, or he was the number one corner in the class of 2024, but he ended up reclassifying. It did look like for a second he was gonna be going to LSU. Now he's going to Alabama. This dude is an absolute ball hawk. He can cover each, any and everybody on the field. Again, just a phenomenal recruit. Alabama, not only did Alabama get five-star recruits, but they got them at key positions. I mean, don't get me wrong. Alabama is never really weak at any specific position besides maybe wide receiver this year, but they have no problem just quadrupling down and really getting whoever they need on the, on the, in their recruiting classes. Where are you going? Just run with them smoothly. Immediately looks back. Come on. Give me that pick. Ah. And you already knew that Bama was going to stay on that defensive side of the ball. And so they went ahead and picked up the third best edge rusher in the country in Quay Russo. This dude is a missile on the field. He flies around terrorizing everybody. You simply cannot slow Quay Russo down. He is so ridiculously explosive. He just closes on guys so quickly. And in all actuality, he's the perfect blend of being a linebacker and an edge rusher. He can just, I mean, just look at him. Like literally look at him as soon as he sees the ball's going full speed full speed full speed full speed close on the quarterback and then run straight through his chest quay russell might be the most explosive edge rusher in the country the other edge rushers that are ahead of him are a little bit more physically just gifted they're more like around the 6'5 6'6 245 265 pound range whereas quay russell is built a little bit more like a von miller type where he's 6'3 220 230 but is ridiculously explosive Personally, I think that that play style is going to be a lot more effective at the next level. Alabama, y'all for sure got your next Will Anderson with this guy. And Alabama did not have to go far to find their next five-star recruit. This is teammate of Quay Russo, James Smith, the second best defensive lineman in the country. This dude is like between Quay Russo and James Smith, especially with them being teammates, they play off of each other so well. James Smith does a great job of getting in the quarterback's face, really just preventing a quarterback from being able to step up into the pocket. And then Quay Russo's come screaming off the edge. So they just collapse the pocket from up, from in the middle and from the outside. Literally, absolute devil. Like Alabama's defense is about to, they are already, Alabama's defense is already terrifying. But the pieces that you guys are bringing in are just flat out disruptors. Normally with Alabama's recruiting class, they pick up a couple guys that are just really freak athletes. This year they're bringing in guys who are freak athletes as well, don't get me wrong, but they are just monsters, monster technicians. They can, they do what they do to a perfection. They're technically sound guys. 
Now let's flip it over to the offensive side of the ball and the Bama Crimson Tide brought in the second best offensive tackle in the country in Caden Proctor. Caden Proctor is 6'7", 330 pounds. And this dude, he's not just a big body. He is, again, another technician. He does a great job of getting his hands on the inside early. He does a phenomenal job of not letting guys get out, not get out of his frame. He does a good job of keeping his feet nice and spaced wide so that he has a sturdy base. Caden Proctor, for the longest time, was actually ranked as the number one offensive tackle. So again, Alabama's Alabama brought in, I believe, 10 or 12 guys that are top 10. 10 in their position in this class alone like Alabama got come on they just went absolutely nuts now if Quay Rousseau is the third best edge rusher in the country why not pair him up with the number one edge rusher in the country in Keon Keeley Keon Keeley is a top 10 recruit overall in the class of 2023 this dude is six foot six 250 260 pounds again has a whole arsenal of pass rushing bags and between between the power and size of Keon Keeley and just the pure speed and aggression of Quay Russo. And then you also got James Smith clogging up the middle. Alabama is going to be absolutely terrorizing quarterbacks. Alabama with this recruiting class, give it two or three more years and let them all really just, you know, develop into their college body and just get comfortable with the speed of college football. I'm telling y'all, Alabama might put together the most sacks ever by a team in college football. They are absolutely locked and loaded out here. Where are you going? Keep on hunting. Nope. And uh, come here. And last but certainly not least, the Alabama Crimson Tide's number one recruit in their 2023 recruiting class is the number one safety in the country and the sixth best recruit in the class of 2023, Caleb Downs. Caleb Downs is an absolute Mr. Do everything on the defensive side of the ball. He can help you in the run protection. He can help you out in the pass, in the pass pro. He's got it all. He's got the speed. Caleb Downs, I, for, I forget the name of the safety that you got. You guys picked up the number one safety in last year's class as well. And he's already dominating for Alabama. Swoop, give me your ankles, little boy. Yeah. But Caleb Downs is going to be a great matchup with him. Again, I, if you guys pay attention to Alabama's defense, they do a phenomenal job of putting their safeties in positions to make plays. And Caleb Downs is a phenomenal safety to pair up and just cause havoc all over the field literally they got five star recruits at positions of need the only position that they really didn't secure i mean they got two four star quarterbacks i'm not super high on either of them but alabama in my opinion has by far the most complete recruiting class this year and it's effect it's shown by just how high of a recruiting ranking that they have this year i mean just look at the speed and the explosiveness again this is a safety out here so those are all seven of Alabama's five-star recruits that they are bringing in in the class of 2023. Alabama is not even done yet, but out of all the five-star recruits that are remaining, it looks to be pretty much a lock that this is going, this is going to be the at least all the five-star recruits that Alabama gets. Hey, we never know. Cormani McLean might end up going to Alabama. It, it's still a possibility. So if that does happen, I'll remake this video. But overall, Alabama has been doing a phenomenal job of just completely destroying the 2023 recruiting class. I don't know why Nick Saban was ever complaining about how NIL was going to ruin college football. He, he, he complained about it. And then next year is about to have the greatest recruiting class of all time. Hey, Alabama's still rolling on. I want you guys to comment down below. Who are you guys' favorite five-star recruits that Alabama brought in? For me, it has to be the teammates Quay Rousseau and James Smith. I think that the pairing of those two are absolute workhorses, followed very closely by Keon Keeley and Justice Haynes. I think that those four guys are going to be the staple pieces of this recruiting class, and everybody else is just going to continue to add to that class. But I want to hear from y'all. What are you guys' thoughts? Be sure to leave this video a like and hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications so you don't miss any time we cover Alabama football ball or anytime we cover any of your uh, opponents because you know it's always good to take a peek and see what the other teams in the country are doing but with all that being said i love and appreciate all y'all hope you have a super blessed rest of your day i'll catch you guys in the next video Ciao.